Welcome to May's Firebase release notes, where we'll cover all the updates from Google I.O. So let's go. Starting off with a big one, Flutter and Firebase together. They give you the tools you need to accelerate app development across platforms from a single code base. And now, all the Firebase plugins for Flutter have moved to general availability. We've added Flutter documentation on firebase.google.com and hundreds of code samples for how to use Firebase in Flutter. If you're missing a use case that was previously covered, let our support team know on the link below. We also have a new onboarding flow in the console for Flutter apps using the CLI tools. It makes it easier than ever for you to add Firebase to your Flutter apps. Firebase extensions make it easy to add common functionality to your app quickly. But what if you want to tweak the behavior of an extension? Well, with extensions events, now you can plug into the lifecycle and runtime of extension on your system and expand its functionality with your own code, adapting it to your specific use cases, like sending an email when a user abandons the checkout in your payments extension. Extensions are now also available in Firebase's emulator suite so that you can test them in a local environment before deploying them to your real projects. And there are new extensions for marketing, search, and payment processing, and it's easier than ever to find the extensions in the Firebase console. You can now also manage extensions across all your projects with extensions manifest files. The latest version of the Firebase CLI includes early support for Next.js and Angular Universal Frameworks. This means that you can now opt in and then deploy modern web apps to the Firebase hosting and cloud functions simply by running Firebase Deploy. It's an early launch, so be sure to report any issues you encounter on the repo link below. OK. You can now also enqueue functions with cloud tasks from within Firebase to help your app run time-consuming, resource-intensive, or bandwidth-limited tasks asynchronously. We also released version 2 of Cloud Functions for Firebase, which is built on top of Cloud Run, allowing us to serve concurrent requests more efficiently, reduce response times, and much more. The Crashlytics dashboard gives you a complete view into your app stability across platforms so you can track, prioritize, and fix the most important bugs first. And the new App Quality Insights window now also provides such information right in Android Studio as you're working on your project. It will even highlight lines of code that have appeared in crash reports so you can fix issues whilst you're building the features. You can also filter crash reports in the Crashlytics dashboard by their play release track. This makes it easier to understand the stability of specific releases of your app. So for example, you could prioritize fixing issues in the beta release before rolling it out to all your users. And we had many more updates at I.O. Firebase performance monitoring alerts and app distribution are now out of beta and generally available. The same applies for AppCheck, which is now also certified under major compliance and security standards. It integrates with the Play Integrity API, making an even better way to protect your Firebase project and other backend resources. With remote config, you can now download a template of your parameters through the API or console so that you can include them as default values in your app binaries and keep them in sync with your backend configuration. And we've added high-level guidance about setting up and managing Firebase projects for each environment of your development workflow. For all these releases and many more, check the blog post and videos linked in the description below. And finally, an update not from I.O. that Puff insisted I include. When you use the real-time database on Android, the query.get API no longer throws client is offline exception when no local value is available. Instead, it now waits for a backend connection. OK, those were the updates from I.O. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. My name is Rich, and maybe I'll see you in a future episode of Firebase Release Notes.